How you feeling? Good. Skinny. Woo! Ready for war. So what's your addiction? <laughs> SVU? No. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I know, I know that cut you off guard. Yeah, I like to watch Special Victims Unit Law and Order. And uh, tell everybody what's changed in our training where we just got back from. Um, I don't know. <laughs> 24 hour fitness. Well, I know. What do you mean? Well, where did we oh, have to do we less we don't have vlog? to sneak into the sauna anymore. We got passes to a sauna. So. So now we don't have to get in trouble for breaking in places. <laughs> yep, we get a sauna at 24 hour fitness now. Um, we got caught at the other place and we got tired of getting yelled at every time. But yep, so I fight May 10th, Lacey fights June 9th. 8th. Oh, I keep saying June 9th, sorry. June 8th. And uh, I just boxed, how many days ago? Two. Really? That's Three days ago? Yeah. Saturday? Yeah, Lacey keeps me uh, at work. Well, this is Ground and Pound TV Germany. Yeah. So we received some news today about Randall's match. Um, it's the week of the fight, and we've put in an eight-week camp for this. So what's going on, Randall? Um, well, Alessio Velasquez, he signed an amateur contract agreeing to fight me, and we were set to fight, and he decides the week of weigh-ins a day out or two days ago that uh, he didn't want the match with me, that I guess it wasn't a good match for him and his coaches, even though they agreed, and his coaches actually kind of harassed me before and kind of like maybe picked on me in the past so then they got their opportunity and decided not to take it um, and we found out he's taking a fight next week on Jeremy Horn's card when we looked him up we like to do a little bit more research we find out wow okay he's scheduled a fight which I feel a tougher opponent next week than I am instead of take the match with me so I mean it was really disrespectful all we would have asked for is week two weeks notice we could have got me a different opponent I always am training, I'm always prepping, so I just felt really disrespected and I just felt it was unprofessional. But hey, thank God I got my student Kyle fighting, Lacey fights June 8th, and uh, I'm actually having my international boxing debut in June sometime, so just let God work his magic, and uh, that's how it goes. So we're here this morning, it's 5.45 a.m., getting ready to go to Helsin Gracie Jiu Jitsu Academy. Ah, Randall said it's too cold out. This is early. It's been a long time since I've seen this early in the morning. I don't, I don't do mornings, so. But yeah, excited. Gonna go get some sparring in. Got my gi, all my gear. Randall's got his gi and everything. But yeah, I'm excited. Gotta go get our work in. Going to. Helsing Gracie Jiu Jitsu Academy, Littleton, Colorado. Check it out, Professor Hordinski. Thanks to Baca for introducing us and for being such a great professor to us. We love Joaquin. We're just excited to go get some more work in with all the team over there. So, see you guys later. There's the beautiful sunrise. So, Randall's uh, uh, grabbing his gi. Sorry. We have an edit from the last vlog. Okay. My original blue belt was from Hicks and Gracie under Brian Espinoza and Rex Payne. But now we train under... Helsin Gracie and Professor Joaquin Baca and Professor Horodinsky. So this patch clearly says Helsin Gracie. But I wanted Gracie. just to apologize to Professor Horodinsky and Helsin, but I did train under Hickson too. But there's just so many Gracies sometimes. We love the Gracies. And when Randall has one too many BCA margaritas, sometimes he Shut forgets up. who no, they I are. Didn't. <laughs> Look at our nephew. Isn't he good? Our whole family, we're pit bulls. He's 16, he's a rock climber. He's gonna be pro one day. Give us a smile, Jake. <laughs> 
So we're on our way to Helsin Gracie Jiu Jitsu. What do you think about Helsin's? Love it. It's the most legit Jiu Jitsu in Colorado. And Hort, the professor there, Steve Hordinski, lived at Helsin for eight years in Hawaii. So he's like really, he's, he's really good. Yeah, no, he's a, he's a good guy. But we're getting Garrett ready for his MMA fight September 1st. Randall's got a match June 21st now since he didn't get to fight on uh, the May 10th card. So he's going to be fighting Mario Suazo. Yeah, that's a good fight. Me and him are going to fight. A real nice fight. And then I have my match June 8th. So and then close. little Johnny's getting ready for Las Vegas Worlds. And possibly the Worlds in LA. So our team's always busy. 6 a.m. Yeah, 6 a.m. And there's our geese. You do not do jiu-jitsu without your gi. Brazilian jiu-jitsu is done in a gi. You would not go to wrestling practice without wrestling shoes. You can what? You can still do no gi, but you need to train most of your jiu-jitsu in a gi. Yeah, no gi is called grappling. And practicing for MMA fights. <laughs> yeah, jiu-jitsu is and done in a gi. gi. Okay. You can't get a belt unless you wear one. And you can't learn the proper controls and the proper grips unless you wear one of those for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Here today at the Hilson Gracie Academy. Let's see. Got Garrett and Randall getting some rounds in. Good chop of arm. Yeah, Master Helson, Dale Master Alio. This is Helson Gracie Jiu Jitsu Littleton, and you're watching Ground and Pound TV Germany. So, the myth is that pit bulls are very vicious animals and they're so mean. But as you can tell, we have one mean, mean pit bull right there. <laughs> so Randall is so in love with his dog, he lady in the tramp sit with her and feeds her flaming hot Cheetos out of his mouth. And she loves it. <laughs> what about Finway, Dad? I don't do that with him. Oh, that's mean. Do it. I will give Finley one. I raised her since she was six weeks and I bottle fed her. But give Finley one, that's me. Like that. Tell, like, tell him what's in your margarita. BCAAs. <laughs> Only Randall, Flaming Hot Cheetos. BCAA, BCAA margarita, margarita. All this after a six mile run. And a bulldog. So silly. There's Kiva. So Lacey is with. Professor. He comes here literally just to give me and Lacey privates. Try to get lazy today a little bit and we we're just gonna do chores and he pretty much said no, you guys are gonna train. Oh is it this one? There's my notebook. Oh no. So back. And who's this? <laughs> Say hi, Bethy. You're gonna be on TV now. Promise. No. Why? <laughs> who's your dad? Is that Professor Baca? Does he teach great jujitsu? Oh, like the Do you love jujitsu? Oh, Why? Oh, no, yes, you do. I don't. Can we film me and you wrestling later? No. Yeah, we will. No. Oh. Yeah. Come on. This is one of our new students, Kelly the Kid Bull Post, getting her mitts in. She's already looking awesome. She's our southpaw on the team. <laughs> you know you're a good pad holder when you get hit. <laughs> so 
So Lacey's out here with the girl squad and Kyle. How are you guys feeling for Lacey's fight? Is everybody excited? No joke. Bring that knee straight up. I don't want you compensating with the hip. Shoot it straight and lean back off of it. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Are you sure? Not like really. Bang. Good. So me and Kyle are getting ready for May 10th fights. I won Golden Gloves again this year. But in between <laughs> fights, we don't train to fight. We train for fun. Literally, this is our favorite time. We went out, had margaritas, had nice Mexican meal, got a little <laughs> buzz going. So we come back to our home gym, we drink beers. But to avoid puking during sparring, because we're getting ready to get our kid ready for a tie tournament. Turn. We drink Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> so we have like, sh see a shot glass? We'll have a shot. Shot of Pepto, chase it with a keystone, baby. Just like margaritas and Mexican food are delicious. <laughs> but sometimes it upsets the stomach just a little. What do we want more than Mexican food? Title belts. Title belts, everyone. Oh, this is our fun moment. Title belts. Cheers. On title belts, ready? Cheers. One, two, three, title belts. <laughs> so we're getting ready to do some mitts. This is what we have to do when you're too broke to afford thigh pads. Show them, Kyle. <laughs> Blast him. Good again. Yeah. I didn't really want to box. It doesn't look like it would be that. It's much better than you would think. Okay. Two days out from my boxing match, I already trained one kid's class, and now we're back at it. <laughs> <laughs> nice and thigh pads. Ribs kill. I um, bet. Kid blasted me with a mean body shot. <laughs> Seriously. Oh. So funny. Just took my kids and the dog on road work. You know the shop MMA and fitness baby. Always prepping. But uh, they're getting their skills now. They're really hitting some fundamentals on the kickboxing. Open. Let's see it, James. Nice. Good job. Find your range. Pull back. Good. Open the door. Land the kick. Close. Good. Again. Let him do it again. Good, find that range, pull back, open the door, hit the kick, yeah! Pull back. Open, open, hit that kick, close, close. the door. Beautiful. There it is, let's see you. Ah, uh, pull back better, it ain't a bunny hop back, nice. step back. Come. No skipping in, I want you to walk in, step in. Hit the combination, pull back, not pop back. Pull the left foot back when you move back, look, you keep skipping. I want this, step, drag, step, drag. Come in, hit the combo, pull back, good, open your door, hit the kick, close your door. Ma, you feel that? Let's see it again. Nah, good, step in, pull back correctly, good. Yeah, baby! Good work, guys. Let's hear all of your guys' war cry. Ah! Again. Ah! Hard work! Dedication! Hard work! Very good. There we go. This That's is Team Mohawk and Team more. Lady Goonies. Ah! Ah! Let's yeah. hear your chant. Hard work. Dedication. All works, easy work. All works, easy work. That's from Floyd. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is our uh, adult kid challenge day. So we make the the young kids uh, against the adults. So I heard him saying it one day. There we go. So Randall and I got our subs today. I feel like we look like a supplement store. Look at all that. Isn't that like crazy? I think we have like way too many pre-workouts and thermogenics. <laughs> no, but this is our stash right now. We're pretty impressed with it. 
because normally we only have like a pre-workout and a protein and like a BCAA and maybe a vitamin. But now we're like stocked up, so it's like super exciting. But this is our combo. We got we got the serious master Randall. He's always got to he's always got to gain that uh, weight. And then we have the little skinny lady protein, the Synthesix, and the bars to go with it because I wanted to be a spoiled brat this time, and they were on sale. And then we got like our BCAAs, got our Thermogenics. And then we got all our like cool free samples and stuff. And then we got our vitamins, Randall's creatine, and then all the pre-workout kind of stuff that we get. These are all Randall's and then I use Hyper because it's what all the bodybuilders use when they're cutting weight for their last week in competition. So it has no creatine or anything in it. So, well, Team Goonies loves their supplements as you can tell, fish oil and all. I'm filming Lacey taking pictures of me. <laughs> Get over here so I can take your picture. How do you guys feel after the last day of Hell Week, last sparring? My shoulder hurts. My legs are sore. My leg is sore. That's what the protein bar is for. Yeah, right? Nice. Look how skinny Kyle's looking. Yeah. Looking ripped. How are you feeling, Randall? Sore. Sore? Uh -huh. Yep. What hurts? My dumb shoulder. <laughs> oh. You're looking pretty skinny, too. Am I? <laughs> no. Do you like Do you like Randall's um, Aoki magic pants? That's his favorite fighter is Shinya Aoki. So, but yeah, we have Professor here too. He's just changing out. He's so. taking actually a dump. No, he's not. Uh, <laughs> just tune in later.